To some, it was an eyesore. To others, it was part of home. And it just reminds us of Carlsbad. Surfers use it to orient themselves in the water, and pilots use it to navigate. After nearly 50 years, the Encina power plant smokestack is coming down. Anytime you lose part of your history, it's, you know, it's kind of like you're losing part of community. And uh, the smokestack, I mean, has been a, a center point or a focal of our community. The power plant play a part in the city's incorporation. In fact, the plant and the smokestack was the cover photo of Susan Gutierrez's book, Window on the Past. She's a historian and the president of Carlsbad Historical Society. The book was published in 2002 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Carlsbad. To me, there was no story without talking about the power plant construction. The smokestack, as residents know it now, was built in the 1970s to replace four smaller stacks. At 400 feet tall, it was the tallest structures on the West Coast at the time. It had to be tall because the power plant was a fossil fuel plant, and the height helps to lessen the impact of soot and other pollutants on the area. The height also has an added bonus. It acts as an identifier for pilots flying to the nearby McClellan Palomar Airport. Jeff White, a flight instructor and president of the Pacific Coast Flyers Flying Club, says it was a famous landmark for new pilots because it could be seen day or night. On a clear day, you can see the smokestack all the way from uh, Long Beach when you're in the air. Very directional, very, uh, you know, way to get to Palomar Airport. That was Carol, Jeff's wife, who, as a student pilot in the 1980s, used the smokestack to find her way home after her first cross-country flight. It's a landmark that just, you know, and it just reminds us of Carlsbad, too. It just always kind of has a place in our heart. As much as it was part of Carlsbad's history, the smokestack had to come down. The plant was decommissioned in 2018, and under an agreement with the city, NRG, the plant's owner had to tear it down within three years. Still, residents like the Whites are sad to see it go. I think the powers that be kind of missed an opportunity. That's such an iconic landmark here. You know, that could have been repurposed into a building that could have been a visitor, you know, a, vis a visitor's kind of mall with shops and all those kinds of things. You know, a lot of the guys and girls, you know, who grew up surfing in Carlsbad, they'd look and they could tell, you know, oh, we're, we're the, the, in this position or we're in that position, you know, in the water. The smokestack is being torn down at a rate of roughly 10 feet a day, and total demolition is expected to be completed by July. As for the future of the site, no specific plans are in the works at the moment. Alexander Wynn, KPPS News.